Hey, Brian, um, you know, I watched your press conference from a couple of days ago and you talked about how Reed is more of a defensive minded player, but today he has an assist. His cross leads to the a 10 steal goal. What have you liked from him going forward recently? He's good. He's athletic. Uh, kid can get an eye on the field. He's got the right profile for being a, you know, box to box type of player. Absolutely. And then uh, kind of related to that, Leo Chu obviously doesn't make the trip today. Just wanted to know what went into that decision. Just my decision. The team we did the team we took down here did great. I mean, I think the guys all fought. They all stuck together. It was a hard game. You know, Leo will feature in future matches down the stretch. Thank you. Uh, Nico Moreno, go ahead. Uh, Coach, usually the, the expectation for, you know, MLS teams going into USL, especially with a pretty – a heavy starting type of squad is that they should just kind of dominate these games. The first half, it seemed like you guys are really under control. And then the second half just kind of didn't quite go your way. What happened? What changed? And what are your thoughts on that perspective of USL teams just being a lot less competition than MLS teams? Well, that's wrong. You're wrong. Um, and they scored a goal early in the second half, gave them life, and credit to Mark and his group for never quitting. Go to the room, Jeremiah. Sorry, yeah, uh, six or uh, yeah, six semifinal appearance for the Sounders uh, in the Open Cup, first since 2014, though. Uh, just generally, I mean, how does that, that feel to be back this deep? And did, I assume this was the performance you were hoping to get. Uh, the performance was, uh, what we, I was happy with the performance because they overcame some adversity. They're coming together as a group. Uh, that wasn't an easy game. To Nico's earlier question, wasn't an easier, it wasn't an easy game by a long shot. Underdog teams, USL teams, their level is growing higher and higher as you know, their league progresses. Um, semifinal, I'm very proud of it. I think I know where it's going to be played. I'm not sure I can say it, but I think I know where it's going to be played and it's going to be epic. Here you go. Yeah, uh, from the shift from the first half to second half, do you feel like the team started to get a little complicit with the, no. the, the score being no. up to... We could have scored three goals in the second half. We had... I don't know what the expected goals were, but I mean, yeah, they scored the goal off the set piece. They put us under pressure because of their endeavor, but we controlled some good possession sequences. We had some unbelievable chances. Raul's header, you know, and it was cut back. The goalkeeper made some good, that goalkeeper's a good goalkeeper, kept him in the game. Uh, I thought we created plenty of chances to put it away, but again, credit to their goalkeeping and a little unlucky for us. And what are you, if you talk more about the USL team's level, just in general, like we saw Sacramento tonight, they were contending the game, especially in that second half. Well, I'd rather talk about the grit and endeavor that our team had. Uh, again, Mark Briggs does a great job. This is a nice franchise, but, you know, the guys had to gut it out on two days rest. A lot of guys came on two days rest and it wasn't easy, but that's testament again to that group's, uh, their determination, their grit, their desire to win, their desire to win more trophies because they're talking, they're, they're already talking in there, Jeremiah. They're already talking about, well, yeah, let's do this. Let's, let's, let's make a serious run. We can get to another final. They want to get to another final. That's a conversation with, between the players. When, when did you decide that you were going to go with such a, you know, a, fir a, a best, you know, a, a first choice, group and what were the you know what was the thought process in terms of who you decided to use and who you didn't ever since sounder Har wrote a, a commentary that we didn't take the open cup seriously okay <laughs> take credit for that um i mean look we discussed it after the new england game uh we, we had three home games we, we need to make sure we take care of our league stuff but i mean we we are serious about this competition we understand the history of it. We can get ourselves into the Champions League again. Uh, we're going to try and do both. We're going to try and still continue to get good league results, but we're also going to make sure that we put strong lineups out for the semifinal and hopefully a final. 
you know, you, you had a, I don't, I don't know exactly how many, but there must have been a handful of guys out there that played close to 90 minutes, uh, you know, 48 or I don't know, 72 hours apart. Yeah. Uh, what does that say about, you know, guys' willingness to do this work? And was there ever a question that, that they fitness wise could do this? Well, some of our fitness guys might have taken a beating earlier in the year with the injury situation, but they actually do a really good job. Jordan Morris has become a complete athlete. He was a guy that years ago could never play three games in a week. He played two really good games in a stretch of 72 hours or whatever your math says. So uh, that, that Christian's durable, you know, Yaimar had another piece of a game, uh, you know, guys were putting it in, but you know, we have, we have a bunch of good athletes. What did you make of this whole, you know, the, the whole environment? I don't know how much of you paid attention to, but you know, you have these amusement rides in the looming in the background. You have the CHP dropping the ball Love on it. a helicopter. It's, you have in -game. it's, it's, it's it, great. Love it. I mean, it seems it's like atmosphere. I mean, it seems kind of like in a way what the open cup is, is about. It's absolutely what it's about. Love the, love the trailer that we're changing in. Love the atmosphere, meeting the fans on the way out, the way in, uh, their barbecue, their beer garden. I loved it. I thought it was great. It's a, throw, I mean, a bit of a throwback for you. I mean, I'm imagining you went through a lot yeah. of this stuff in yeah. your early days. Yeah. For sure. You got one more. Uh, Nico Moreno has one more, and then we'll wrap it up. Uh, Coach, just wanted to get your take on Jonathan's well performance there, right next to uh, Yay Martin. Also, Joshua Tansy, another guy that hasn't quite been getting a lot of minutes, but he seemed to have a good game. Just wanted to get your take on both of those guys. Josh is fired up about going to the Olympics. He's leaving from here. Uh, Jonathan Bell has proven his worth many times over the season. Uh, he's a great kid and a good player. Thank you. Did he come out of that collision at the end there? Okay, he's fine. Everybody's fine. They're all tough kids.